Morning, Edge Kids. How you doing? How's your week going? Thought we'd have a little bit of change of scenery today. I'm actually on vacation. It's a good time to kind of hang out, relax, get rejuvenated. In today's story, we're going to hear about Jesus going out, but it's not really on vacation. He actually went into the wilderness for a time of testing and trial. We're going to hear about it now. Talk to you soon. After Jesus was baptized, God's Spirit led him into the wilderness. Jesus stayed in the wilderness for many days. He prayed to God and thought about God's plan for his life. Jesus did not eat anything while he was in the wilderness, and he was very hungry. The devil came to tempt Jesus. He tried to get Jesus to do wrong things. The devil said, if you are really God's son, tell these stones to become bread. If Jesus used his power to turn the stones into bread, he could eat the bread. 
Then he wouldn't be hungry anymore. But Jesus said no. He trusted God to give him what he needed. Then Jesus said, This is what the Bible says. Man must not live only on bread, but on all the words God says. Jesus did not sin, so the devil tried again. He took Jesus to the top of the temple in Jerusalem. The devil said, If you are really God's son, prove it. Jump off the top of the temple. God will protect you. Then the devil said, The Bible says God will order his angels to keep you safe, and they will protect you so that you will not even trip on a stone. Again, Jesus said no. Jesus knew the devil was trying to trick him by misusing God's words. The devil was being foolish. Jesus said, The Bible also says, Do not test God. Finally, the devil took Jesus to a high mountain where they could see land stretched out far and wide. The kingdoms and land were great. The devil said, Look, I will give you all the money and power of these great kingdoms. All you have to do is fall down and worship me. Jesus said, No! Go away, he said. The Bible says, only worship God and only serve God. So the devil went away. Angels came to help Jesus and serve him. In all of these things, Jesus never sinned. The devil tried to get Jesus to sin, but Jesus never sinned. Jesus always did the right thing. Jesus died on the cross to rescue us from sin. When we are tempted to sin, we can ask Jesus to help us say no to sin. All right, welcome back. Hey, if you want to read this account for yourself, you can read either Matthew chapter 4, Mark chapter 1, or Luke chapter 4. You can read all three. It'd be really good for you. Now, one of the things that we see in, the, in this account is that Jesus faced temptation, but how did he stand up against temptation? Do you remember? That's right. He used God's word. My encouragement to each and every one of us is that we need to be in God's Word. That's why we go to Sunday school, we go to church, we read the Bible for ourselves because we just need to get more and more familiar with what God has to say. And He speaks to all these different things that apply to our lives. I have a promise to share with you. It says here in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Paul is reminding us that God will give us a way out and that we don't need to give into temptation. God's word will shed light on the situation and show us that way. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you've given us your word. Lord, I pray that we grow to love your word more and more each day and that we would see its application into our lives and the situations that we are faced with. I pray, Lord, that we would not give in to temptation, but that we would resist it and just walk with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.